Oh no, you got lazy and left your crap out to rust. When iron is left out in both moisture and air, it oxidizes, which is what we'd commonly refer to as the process of rusting. If it's submerged in water that has boiled out all of its impurities, it won't rust. Similarly, if you trap iron in a container with air and no moisture, it won't rust either. So pretty obviously, to avoid rusting, you simply need to prevent having both present at the same time. But rust is the side we've all come to see when things aren't taken care of properly. So today, I'll be showing you a cheap home remedy. So I found a super rusted bolt for my kitchenware. It's such a shame because even the newest things need care to be maintained. So ideally the best situation is for nothing to be rusting at all. But we're here with solutions. And boy do I have an acidic solution for you. First let's break down what happened. Rusting has the equation where we first introduce solid iron to liquid water and gaseous air to produce aqueous iron and an aqueous hydroxy group. These two then further react to create iron 2 hydroxide, which is white and a little bit green. But this colour won't stay long because the iron 2 hydroxide then reacts with the diatomic oxygen from the air to create iron 3 hydroxide, which has the familiar orange which helps us know when the screw is screwed. Once that dries, we get ferric oxide, commonly known as rust. Okay, so now we know how we got ourselves into this mess, but what does this mess mean for us? Well, rust reduces conductivity, develops holes and sheets, and most importantly, weakens the metal, which means wasting resources and also increasing our carbon footprint by needing to replace them. And the solution is literally a solution. All we need is white vinegar, which contains acetic acid. Just simple white vinegar from the supermarket or online shouldn't cost more than a few dollars. The method is simply to apply the white vinegar to the rust, where effectively you apply the acetic acid to the ferric oxide, then just go to bed or do something for a while, as the acid works its magic. If you feel like you've got nothing better to do however, you can stare at the reaction, as it happens where the rust is slowly eaten away. This is just a time lapse over half a day where my rusted bolt was submerged into vinegar. Now all you need to do is wipe off the iron-free acetate, and we got rid of the rust. A bonus step is to use baking soda to neutralize the remainder of the acid. This is just a familiar classroom experiment. You know though, rust can actually be used for some very explosive experiments. Tune in next time for a Fermite Boom Boom.